Well, hello there. I'm Rebecca Robeson. I'm an interior designer and a YouTube content provider with over a million subscribers to my channel. What do we do on my channel? Well, we do beautiful home reveals, either the ones that I've done myself or ones that have been done by my students. Today is really special because I'm here at one of the homes to be a guest host on this channel of Golden Eagle Log and Timber Homes. How special is this? Today I'm gonna to tour this home where I'm actually gonna stay for a few days. Why? Because one of my students actually designed this home. And guess what? I'm gonna point out some of my favorite aspects of the design. What's really special is Sarah's take, a fresh take on this log and timber home, combined Sarah's love for the rustic log look, along with the glamorous modern elements that she loves so much. This is not your typical log and timber home. When you work with Golden Eagle Log and Timber Homes, they have an amazing design center. You can go there and pick your finishes. You can pick your logs or your timber and what you want it to look like, how you want it to be stained. Well, the best part about this is you have so many options. And because Sarah had graduated essentially from the design sessions, she was fully equipped to make all of those decisions on her own. Everything in this house is designed and decided on with purpose. One of my favorite things is it's a see-through house. You know, they say don't throw stones when you live in a see-through house. But in this case, the reason it's called a see-through house is because you can stand at the front door and see all the way through to the lake on this side. And guess what's on the other side? Another lake. Oh my gosh. Now the house itself is 5,500 square feet. It has five bedrooms and four bathrooms. And honestly, this upper floor has an open concept that is unbelievable, just huge. The living room, the dining room, and the kitchen all in one area. And then downstairs, there's a man cave and an entertaining bar area, perfect for a large family gathering. Most of the walls in the house are textured with timber or some sort of a finish on the wall, or there's a ton of windows. Beautiful. The problem is when it comes to decorating, you don't have very many walls to put any kind of art pieces on. Well, you know what Sarah did? She practiced a principle that I teach in that light fixtures can be art in themselves. It's a, it's a sculpture of sorts. This particular fixture is the perfect example of combining her styles. It is both rustic and glamorous. By the time Sarah met with the kitchen designers at Golden Eagle, she was locked and loaded. With what? Her binder. This is where she made all of her decisions and she knew what she wanted. What did that do for her and for them? Well, the kitchen designers knew exactly where to go and to get it right so she'd be happy with the end result. What did she want in her kitchen? She wanted two islands. That's kind of a lot of countertop space. Well, that's the point. One is for prep with two sinks, two dishwashers, and one is for serving and for seating. That was perfect for the size of her family and what she anticipated doing here in this home. She also made some decisions like changing the countertop material. Well, that's kind of different, right? How do you know if that's gonna work? Well, trust me, she knew because she did the homework. She learned the principles. Absolutely beautiful. And then this veining that goes through it in the cream and white with little flecks of mica and gold tones. That brought in a lot of the tones that she was using throughout the kitchen. Now you take the white from here and you use it then on all of your surrounding countertops and what you have is the surround is clean, but the island is special. So special that she designed the cabinets to have furniture-like legs on the corners. That alone makes this not feel like it's a whole bunch of stuff over and over again. This is now special. Remember when I was standing at that wall where the clock was? By the way, that's the gold tone. Mm, brought in here. That's repeating the matter. 
That wall is covered in timber with a really dark, rich stain. The color of the timber wall brought in here on the countertop balances the space. That same material is over on the wall over here as well with all the windows. So what we have is a nice, beautiful, balanced feeling in this space. When I viewed the original video that was first produced by Golden Eagle Log and Timber Homes, my breath was taken away a few times on that. I bet yours was too. And one of the first things that took my breath away was this. A big design principle that I absolutely love is always creating a focal point. And that's exactly what Sarah and the kitchen designers did. This wall here is the cooktop wall, and that's often the place. But she did some really clever things and made some very wise choices, not only with her design, but with her budget. And here's one of them. Right here, she chose a beautiful mosaic tile to go on the backsplash above the cooktop. A lot of people typically pick something fabulous to put above their cooktop, but they take it too far. In this case, what she did was she bought just enough to cover the back of this, and then she used subway tile on the left and the right, which is easier on the budget. She also wanted the focal point to definitely be here, but not when you first walk in the house. She didn't want that backdrop or the backsplash to be like, oh, she wanted it to be, when she's standing here cooking, she wanted to go, ah. And I actually saw her cook the other day and she does do that, it's true. Look how the cabinets have lights in the upper cabinet. I do take credit for that because my mantra is, lighting is everything. And she took and paid attention to that. She underlit the cabinets here. She lit this backsplash here. She lit inside of those cabinets there. And then look at this beautiful arch. You know why that's so cool and why this whole scene took my breath away? Because that arch is completely mimicked in these incredible trusses that go along this space here in the kitchen and in the living room. I think these trusses are the most beautiful trusses I've ever seen. Like, I don't know how many of you look at trusses on a regular basis, but they don't usually look like this. So you get it? Are you following me? You've got the arch of the truss. You've got the arch above the cooktop. And as it goes up, it fits right inside the arch of that truss. How perfect is that? Then they lit the ceiling behind it and they actually lit inside the trusses. Oh, girl, you get special credit for that. And one last thing about this, look at this. She has accessorized this beautifully. These are vintage pieces, the china from her mother. I mean, it's beautiful and it's colors that she's repeated throughout her house. So we got the repeating a matter and the vase. Well, you know what? I'm not even gonna tell you all that because I want you to go watch the video on my channel where you're actually gonna get to meet Sarah and her husband, Jay, and have her walk us through all the things she did in this kitchen because there's a lot of good stuff, a lot. So here's the deal. I know that you would love to see what's around here. First off, an amazing mudroom, guest room, bathroom, fantastic. But I don't have time to go through all of those today and I'm only picking out my favorite rooms that I think are just must sees. However, there are other YouTube videos on here and just stay on this channel and look for them. This is actually called The Amazing Home. And that is a really great name for it because I concur. Okay, okay, you ready? You ready, you ready, you ready? I don't want to want anything, but I want you to see the master bedroom. Is it just me or come on, is this not the best? Does it take your breath away? Good, because that's not the scene I was talking about. I'm talking about that. It's a soaking tub, a cubed shape soaking tub. I mean, when I design my perfect dream home, I'm gonna have a soaking tub in my bedroom. How about you? I'm just saying. Imagine you're in this tub, you're with your friend or your partner, probably your partner would be better than a friend, and you're just sitting here having a glass of wine and looking out at the view. Oh, a glass of wine would be awesome right now. Yes, I was right about that. Mm -hmm. It's awesome. So let's talk about the design principles that Sarah used as she designed this room. You gotta remember, when you're building a house from the ground up, it could be anything. So what did she do to incorporate some of the principles from the design session into this room and make her house flow so beautifully? 
Here's what she did. Remember the trusses and the beams that are in the other part of the house, the kitchen and in the living room? They are also in this room as well. But in this room, she changed the color. They're not stained wood, they are painted wood. What does that do? That gives you a beautiful spa-like feeling. However, the natural color wood that's in the ceiling here is exactly the same as it is out in the other room. So the flow just feels natural from one room to the next. Then with a cathedral ceiling on this wall, Sarah knew to put her bed on this focal point wall and to create something around it that was an absolute wow. And I think she really accomplished that. Not only did she design a custom built-in to go around it to take up a lot of the wall space, she incorporated the nightstands in the built-in. She even cut out part of this piece of wood that would have come straight down had she not known the principles of how to do this right. This would have come down and her nightstand would have ended here. But because this was cut out like a corbel, she's got all this usable space to use in her room. She also repeated a matter in using the same paint color on the beams and on the door casements, on the door on the inside and the built-in. That's repeating a matter. And where else did she repeat something? Right here, the headboard of this beautiful king size bed is the same fabric as it is on the bench at the end of the bed. Her bedding itself is absolutely luxurious and beautiful. She glammed it up, but she also spotted it out. And then for some finishing touches, she added beautiful lighting in every single cubby of the built-in, essential. She used a pair of matching lamps on either side of the bed, and she accessorized the built-in in the ways that we teach in the design sessions. All in all, it is such a peaceful, beautiful, and absolutely, well, it takes your breath away first impression of this room. She connected these light, uh, these uh, lamps here with this acrylic base here with the acrylic handles on the nightstands, and then this spectacular light fixture over the soaking tub. I mean, good Lord, what is not to love about this room? I can assure you that Sarah took those same outstanding design principles and carried them right on into her master bathroom, as well she should. Honestly, this girl's got it going on. If you wanna see how the bathroom turned out, be sure to look at the Amazing Home series right here on this channel. And there is one specifically on the bedroom and the bathroom. I think for this room design, Sarah should be valedictorian of her class. Just saying. Now, if I lived here, I would, I don't know, after a nice soak in my tub and looking out at the beautiful moon on the lake and a glass of wine, of course, I'd probably just fall into bed. Something like this. So come on down, what are you waiting for? Party's down here. So this is a pretty nice man cave, wouldn't you say? Down here, this looks a lot more like your typical log and timber home. Well, that actually works, especially for a man cave. And there's a couple of other, I think three other guest bedrooms down here, including grandchildren's headquarters and a nursery. These guys have thought of just about everything. But what a great place to play pool and to have a sitting area to watch the games and this amazing bar. First thing you do when you get down here is you saddle up and you get yourself a drink. Hey Jay, so I have a question for you. If I buy a Golden Eagle log and timber home, does it come with a full-time bartender? Some do and some don't. <laughs> Just an extra little upcharge on yes. that, right? Yeah, well clearly this house comes with one. So make me something special. I don't have a, I don't have like a mixed drink that I love. So make me something you think I'm gonna love. Awesome. And it's a Wisconsin drink? I didn't know Wisconsin had their own drink. With drink in hand, time to play pool. Oh! Yellow ball in the corner pocket. I didn't even have to put my drink down. Awesome, that was fun. Thanks. Sarah chose to use the same stone on the walls down here as she used upstairs on the fireplace. That material was repeating a matter. 
She also used the color on the pool table of the robin's egg blue, which is what I call it, but the blue plates that were grandma's china up in the kitchen. Another thing she did was she chose to use the timber uh, vertical beams and the horizontal beams, as well as what they used upstairs, but downstairs, they added a little bit more of the copper color, a little more rusty as opposed to espresso. But we still have the gray that's tying both floors together. She continued to put a lot of emphasis on the lighting. We see a lot of this tin, metal tin lighting, which kind of looks like a saloon kind of thing, and a lot of Edison bulbs. You know, Edison bulbs are great for a rustic look, but they bring in, I don't know, I wouldn't even call it modern, but in modern times, they've been used a lot more, a lot more popular. A couple of other areas where I see that Sarah mixed the modern design style down here in the basement is with this light fixture here. I mean, this is pretty cool, isn't it? It has, oh, it's, <laughs> well, look at this. Uh, let me just show you. One could take one's recent earnings It's magic and it's modern. What are some other ways that you can make something that's typically more rustic or log and timber home looking a little bit more modern? Well, Sarah had a great idea here. She took this live edge countertop that they provide and they sell at Golden Eagle and she asked them to create a square, clean, modern edge by filling in where all of the live edge stuff is filling it in with resin. I've never seen anything like this before and just having a very clean edge to this countertop or this bar top really added itself and lended itself more to the modern style which of course combines beautifully with upstairs. These lines of this built-in here are very clean and the fact that it was designed to be a display case for motorcycle gas tanks, I mean who knew? This is one of the things that Sarah's husband, Jay, collects. So it was a great place to display the things that are important to them. And I think it's one of those conversational things when the guys come down, play a little pool. You know what else they do after they have them talk about motorcycles? They go watch the game. Let's take a look. Sarah did a masterful job at her seating placement in this downstairs man's cave. Here's what I'm talking about. Of course, we have the pool table there, the bar with all the chairs there, but this right here, these are swivel chairs. So she created an L shape with the sofa and the chairs, and oh my gosh, these are super comfortable. They go great with the look of the room. They have modern lines to them, but the nail heads give it a little bit more rustic. And look, you can sit here and watch people playing pool, or you can come over here and you can sit on this amazing leather tufted sofa. I've always loved this sofa, but this one has some special features. What I really like about our placement is this is what we call a conversational area. It's a U-shape. U-shape means that there's gotta be something over here to sit on as well, and there is, a fireplace with a hearth. Now, let's sit down on the sofa and we can watch all the focal points, three focal points in this room. Of course, the spectacular view of the lake, the television right here, and then this beautiful fireplace. You like get to see everything all at the same time. And look, this is what's so cool about this. This has a feature of super comfortability. Amazing. Oh. And you can sit and watch the game. Go back. I can tell you, this experience has opened my eyes to the wonder and beauty that are possible living in a log and timber home. Suffice it to say, I could live here. And my guess is you might be feeling the same way too. Contact Golden Eagle Log and Timber Homes. Wait till you check out their website and see how many possibilities there are for you to design and create your own dream home. Be sure to check out my YouTube video on my channel of my time here with Sarah for the last four days, doing things like I've never done before, so many outdoor activities possible in a home like this. ATVs, I was on a motorcycle with Jay, we went mountain biking, and we had a cocktail cruise on a pontoon boat. Doesn't get better than that. 
All right, you guys, if any of you are interested in knowing how Sarah gained the principles and the design skills to come up with a home like this, I invite you to join the design sessions. It's available on my website. Be sure to check it out. Only $10 a month and you will be well on your way to having the home of your dreams. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.